All right, so today I peeked into my snake egg incubator and I actually saw some eggs with little heads peeking out. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go in there and cut them open a little bit more and see what the results of this breeding are. This is pretty exciting. This is actually Bobby's first grandchildren. This is Bobby around my neck here. This is a bamboo, seven year old bamboo male and I actually bred him and produced a bamboo calico that I actually bred the bamboo calico, his son, to a pastel so we can have bamboos, calicos, and pastels in this clutch. And the first two heads that were sticking out, I think they were both normals, which is kind of disappointing. I was hoping for more bamboos. Hopefully we'll hit some pretty good odds. It should be some really interesting combinations. I'm actually hoping for the bamboo pastel calico, and I'll probably hold that one back as a future breeder. So let's jump over and pull these eggs out of the incubator and cut them open and check out our results. All right, so I have two boxes right out of the incubator. This was actually a 10 egg clutch that I separated into two boxes of five. And I'm actually gonna start with this box because I saw little tiny heads sticking out of this one. This is pretty exciting. This, I'd say, have to say, this is the most exciting part of breeding ball pythons is seeing what you have coming out of these eggs. This is pretty amazing. And there's two that are cut open. One has a little head. Take a look at this guy with the little tiny head sticking out of the egg. How cute is that? Super cute little head sticking out of the egg. And this one, it almost looks, you know, sometimes these can kind of fool you. Sometimes they're like pastels with kind of a normal looking head. So these might be normals. These might be pastels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little piece of this uh, paper towel here and this can get really messy cutting these eggs open so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of move this around a little bit and we'll just kind of cut these open a little bit. I'll put this up here and we'll just start right here. Well I guess we'll start with the one that has the head sticking out and we'll kind of take a look inside this and usually what I do is I try to get the head back in just a little bit so it's not kind of sticking out like that. Maybe I'll give you a little bit of zoom. Maybe I'll actually move this box over a little bit so we get a little bit better light right here so we're not cutting in the shade and I'll zoom in just a little bit here on this egg you can take a look at it and let's take a look at this what I use is I just use big scissors some people use little scissors some people use a razor blade and what I do is I kind of it's kind of hard with the kind of the head sticking out there you go I kind of like to get the head back in the egg and then I'm just gonna kind of snip just a little bit so we can peek inside and take a look at this one. So a combination that we can get, we can get pastels, we can get calicos, we can get pastel calicos, we can get bamboos, we can get uh, calico bamboos, we can get pastel bamboo calicos from this combination. And this one, <laughs> take a look at that. What do you think that one is? That looks like a normal ball python. The first one looks completely normal. Nothing really fancy about that one. So we have one normal. So essentially with every, every one of these genes, we should hit 50% of everything so you know half of them should be bamboos half should be pastels half should be calico as a matter of fact i don't think this one i didn't really kind of look at the calico on this but it doesn't really well i don't know calico is kind of hard to tell when it's young but i don't think there's calico in that one usually the calico brings some white up on the side. I'm thinking that one is just a normal. So let's take a look at this one and this one is looking pretty normal too. What are the odds that you have two normals with all those genes? That is pretty crazy. So let's see if I can actually get a hold of this, open it up a little bit more. See what we can see in this one. This kind of freaks me out sometimes if you get kind of close to the snake. That's why I like these big kind of blunt scissors. But this one is, <laughs> what are the odds of that? A normal and a normal. Two normals right out of the chute. Oh my. 
That is not really what I was shooting for. I'm like, did I bring the right snakes? <laughs> normal and a normal. That is kind of crazy. All right, so let's, we have, um, Eight more eggs we can actually take a look at. So what I want to do on these, uh, these haven't actually peeped out a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of pinch it a little bit and then cut right on the egg and take a look. I just, I don't really need much at all to actually look inside of these. Uh, and sometimes this can be kind of messy cutting into some of these eggs. So let's take a look at what we have here. Mm. This one's kind of interesting. That one, take a look at that one. That one, uh, if you can actually see inside of it, this definitely has calico in it. You can definitely see the high white sides, and I'm thinking this also has pastel. This looks like a pastel calico. Doesn't look like it has bamboo in it, though. That is a really super, well, I don't know, maybe it does actually. Take a look at this. This actually does look like a, a, like a, a calico bamboo. You can actually see the pattern up on top. I want to open this up. I'm going to crank it open. That is pretty awesome. Take a look at that beauty. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that looks like a calico bamboo. And the pastel is kind of hard on the bamboo because a lot of times the yellow doesn't come in on the, the pastel bamboos until a little bit later. So that looks pretty promising. We might, we've hit at least two genes on this, maybe three. I don't know, I'm looking at the eyes. You really can't tell in the eyes either on the bamboos. So that looks really good. At least I have a calico bamboo, possibly pastel, on that one, which is pretty awesome. All right, so this is egg number four. Let's take a look at this one. This one looks like it's going to be really messy. Sometimes if they have a little kind of a... Sometimes they can be really full of goop and liquid in some of these eggs. So let's see. Let me see if I can uh, move over a little bit so you can actually see it. A little bit in the middle of the camera here. <laughs> kind of off of the camera. This one is, ooh. This one's kind of weird. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, cutting eggs can be kind of tricky. This one's really white on the inside. Kind of hard to tell on this one. Boy, ugh. That one, huh? <laughs> uh, this one I can't really tell just because of the way he's kind of sitting there. Take a look at that. It's really white in there. I'm thinking this one is probably maybe a calico bamboo, but I'm not 100% sure on this one. I don't really want to open it up much more than that. So that one is kind of a big question mark. That is really kind of a messy one too. I want to switch my paper towel here and kind of start over. That one was pretty goopy. So that one, at least that one wasn't a normal. <laughs> so that gives me some hope that it's not a normal. All right, so let's see what else we got here. This is the last egg in that box, egg number five. So let's see if I can get this kind of in the middle so you can see it a little bit better. And let me cut this just on the top. This really makes me nervous cutting eggs, but you don't want to cut them too early. And some people say that it's, it's better to cut them than not cut them at all. Ooh, this one, this one's interesting. This one looks like, take a look at that. What do you think that is? That looks like a pastel to me. It doesn't, can't really hardly see the calico in that one. I'm thinking that is just a pastel right there. Pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna switch to the second box here. So we made it through the first box and cut them all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this back in the incubator. I'm gonna put this, I use press and seal on top of the boxes. 
and then just kind of put the press and seal back on it. I just kind of let them sit until usually it takes them a couple days before they all come out. And then once they all come out, we can actually look at them in a little bit more detail in another video, which would be pretty exciting. So I'll put these guys aside and we'll check out this other box. It's always interesting, you have one clutch in two different boxes and it seems like one always hatches a little bit earlier than the other one. I have yet to have two boxes hatch that, um, that are essentially from the same, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit on this one. So for, yeah, from the same clutch, I usually have two different hatches on the same box. So take a look at this. This is kind of interesting. These are a little bit moldy on these. And it's kind of interesting. You can actually get a little bit of mold on your eggs and it's perfectly fine as long as most of the egg is still white. It's kind of weird how it can be moldy like that and you can still get good eggs, which is kind of a weird thing about snake eggs. And then what I do is I just kind of wipe off the press and seal, all the condensation. And that's kind of usually what I do every couple weeks. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start pulling these eggs and then we'll take a look at the inside and we'll see what we got for the results of the other half of this clutch. So let's take a look at this. This one, oh, this one feels really goopy on the inside. This one's gonna be a really messy one. Let's take a look at this one. These can be really, I've actually had them where they're like super, um, uh, like super full of liquid and then you open them up and they, they get really super messy when you're actually cutting them. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, let's take a look at that one. Really super goopy and messy in there. That one looks like another normal. <laughs> another normal. I can't believe we got three normals. What are the odds of that? That is crazy. That's kind of crazy. Last year, that my odds were so against me last year. I think I got like 20 normals. <laughs> it is crazy. I can't believe how many normals you can get on some of these. And sometimes you can hit all odds. I've actually seen people breed a bamboo and get a whole clutch of all bamboos. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I know my zoom has been kind of in and out this whole video. So this one is, is really super full too. And this one's going to make a big mess. I, can, I know it. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's see if we can get a bamboo on this one. So far, uh Let's see, with those normals and the pastel, oh, this one's not looking good either. <laughs> I don't think I have a bamboo in this one. What are the odds? I know I had a lot of people wanting bamboos from this clutch. And it doesn't look like I might get that many bamboos. This one's really goopy. This one, uh, I'm thinking this one, this one might be, that almost looks like a calico. To me, it's kind of a reduced pattern, not quite as yellow as a pastel. Kind of hard to tell on that one, but I think it's just a, a calico on that one. Look at how goopy it is. That is really just disgusting. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going through these paper towels quite a bit. Here we go. <laughs> How can I get another one? This is like the dirtiest part of breeding ball pythons. But you know a lot of people you don't actually have to cut. You can let them come out on your own which is perfectly fine too. So I'm going to actually cut this one. We, it looks like we have three eggs left. Hoping for some more bamboos. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I don't think this is a bamboo. <laughs> Oh my. Oh, what are the odds? The odds are killing me. The odds are killing me. Unbelievable. <laughs> Take a look at that one. I think that one might be Oh, I think that one might be a pastel calico on that one. Doesn't look like a bamboo. Wow, I'm getting destroyed on the odds on this clutch. Absolutely destroyed. 
All right, we'll try it. We got two eggs left. I still have hope for my pastel calico bamboo. That's what I'm shooting for as a holdback. A lot of people are shooting for, I actually have another box of bamboo eggs that are due to hatch in a couple of weeks. So we can actually take a look at that one here in a couple of weeks. And this one, let's see, let's take a look at this one. This one is super messy. Oh, wow, you gotta be kidding me. That one to me looks like another calico. <laughs> no bamboo on that one either. Wow. All right, we're down to one egg. This is this is like getting slain by the odds gods here. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. Oh my, this is really unbelievable. You know, technically you can have a whole clutch of all normals no matter what kind of odds you have. That is really unbelievable. All right, let's take a look at this one. And no bamboo on this one. Oh no, well, let's see. I don't think this is a bamboo. Oh my. <laughs> a lot of people waiting for bamboos. And you know what, I'm gonna have a lot of normals and a lot of pastels. This is unbelievable. That one just kind of looks like a calico to me. Wow, we got destroyed on that clutch. That is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. I have to admit that that was probably the worst odds that I've ever had in a clutch of ball pythons. I have like 10 people waiting for bamboos, and I think based on that, it looks like I may only have two bamboos out of 10 eggs. That is pretty crazy. As a matter of fact, it looks like I may have hit the pastel bamboo calico on one of them. Looks really promising, and I might actually hold that one back as a future breeder, which means I'll only have one bamboo out of all those eggs that I'll be selling pretty crazy. But I do have another clutch of bamboos on the way. Hopefully in a couple weeks when I cut that one, I'll actually have better odds than this one. Pretty crazy. So that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.